Hey guys, AD Rocks here. This is part two of baby doll stuff. What? It's not baby doll stuff, just stuff to make for Barbie's babies. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna just tell you the things we're gonna make. Um, well, we might not actually make them, we might tell you how to. So, this is a high chair. Beds, we're not going to show you the whole bed because it takes a long time and we don't want to waste our time. So, a little thing to calm down the babies. And a teddy bear and a... This one might be long, so just hang tight. Um, we're going to show you how to make a diaper bag. That This is really easy. That's, no. She's going to sew it. I'm going to show how to hot glue it. Yeah, hot, I'm going to just show you how to sew it. And uh, blankets. So what you're going to need for this one is Oh, beads. wait, did we tell you we're going to make a teddy bear? Yeah, and a teddy okay. bear. Sorry. You're going to need lots and lots of different beads. We have a whole bin back here. You can get them at the dollar store, as I said in the other video, for like two bucks. And like there's piles of them. You're going to need a hot glue gun. You can get find ones at Walmart and Target. Seven dollars. Um, That one was originally fifteen dollars, too. I got it on clearance. A box or a table to have glue on. Yeah. Some popsicle sticks. Woo! Oh, yeah. Big thing. Scissors, you're going to need good one. These are KitchenAid scissors. These are my mom's. We got permission to use them. They're really good. And you're going to need a box that is able to fit your baby in. Cardboard and beads. I mean, buttons. Yes. And then you're going to need, basically, fabrics. Oh, yeah, and if you want... You might want to paint this stuff, but we just didn't feel like painting it. Oh. <laughs> she hit my head. <laughs> so, so now she's going to show you one of the things to make. We're also going to show how to make these cute little pillows. Oh. Okay. So this I'm going to start by showing you how to make the crib. You're going to need a box that can fit your baby. This is the easy way. And then you're going to add the sides or the popsicle sticks onto the side. Oh, we're just going to show you, like, real quick what we made in these. They're just made out of cardboard. So you got to so, glue yeah. popsicles. Sticks. So she... Her hand's blocking it, sorry. You're going to glue popsicle sticks on for the legs. So she's going to start by showing you, um... How to make this little cute... How to make this. So, we're... She had... She sewed that one. Yeah, here, let me... But we're going to hot glue it for this round. Yeah, but um, this one, I'm just going to tell you how to sew it. Now, you're going to need this kind of fluffy stuff. We used a fluffy one. It's a, ba it's a real baby blanket. Baby. Baby blanket. Um, we sewed it with some blue um, string. And then we made two pockets. We hot glued them because we couldn't really um, do that. Um, sew them. And then we added two little buttons. Really cute buttons. And then we, of course, ha added a handle. And it's pretty big. It holds a lot of stuff for your baby dolls. Uh, I mean, Barbie dolls. Sorry. Now, let me um just ex... Oop. So, I'm done with the crib. So, it's going to fit your doll, your baby into it. Sorry, it doesn't show Like that. that. <laughs> and then, you're going to have to make a blanket, which she will show you when... Well, mm -hmm. I will show you when she's done with that. So, so I'm just going to tell you how to make this little... Cute high chair. I made this well, in like five seconds. Yeah, she's going to do that while I start getting ready for the, showing you the yeah. bag. So this was really easy. You're going to need popsicle sticks. Now, I made this out of cardboard, but you could just be like use a jewelry box or any really small box that would fit your baby. Let me show you. The baby will actually sit in it. Not that well, but, and it stands and everything. Since we already have two cribs, she's going to show you how to make the height chair with the crib we just made. Yeah. So she's going to run and get an extra, some yeah. extra cardboard. I'll be well, right back. I show you guys how to make the hot glue the bag. So I'll just hang it right here. So you're going to start by taking whatever kind of baby looking fabric you have. We just used some fabric we got from our grandmother. She's a sewer. And you're going to sew out... Cut out, so out. You're gonna I'm cut. I'm back. I'm back. So I'm cutting out a long sheet now. Okay, can I show them how to make this? No, because then you have to do the back. Oh, so you have to take a long sheet like this, fold it in half. Yeah, sorry guys, this is really long. We just really want to get you 
knowing how to do this. Because we couldn't really find any it. videos on YouTube. And yeah. then trim it to find where you want it. This is going to be a medium-sized one. Oh, yeah. If you guys actually watched, tried to watch videos, we noticed that they're not really good and they don't show you too much. So yes. we felt like we're just going to... So you're going to refold it and then choose where you got to hot glue it or sew it. So we're just going to do hot glue like we said before. Hot glue there and be hot glue there. Because if you, oh, be careful with the string glue because that really gets in your way. And, and just press on the sides to make it like that. So now you got something and you want to leave an opening in the top. You don't want to hot glue it in on the top like that so now you're just going to cut out like a handle. the handles just by a piece of string so <laughs> you can use ribbon but we're just going to use more of this because we don't feel like running downstairs and grabbing ribbon yeah. that would just so you're going to take a s string like this and hot glue it on the inside or outside but we inside um, looks inside because it just made it look like it's actually a handle. Yeah. Put a popsicle stick in it just to brace it. Yeah, you don't want it flying all over. And then you want to kind of put some hot glue on the other end. We're sorry if our craft tutorials aren't perfect because our hands kind of have to be in their way. And hot glue it to the other side. Oh, yeah. And guys, so these are one of our um, few times doing craft tutorials. So please don't leave in comments. We don't like them. So it's like a bag. You're supposed to use a separate fabric for the handles, which we will, I will go grab in one second, so I'll be right back. We're back. So you're going to take <coughs> this, you're just going to cut out a pocket. So I'll show you how big the pockets are going to be. We're going to make one long pocket on this one. On the other one, we made two pockets. Where'd it go? It's right up here. Oh. So take you something. Two pockets. Yeah. Two small pockets. With buttons. Take this and you're going to hot glue it on the front. Sorry about that. <laughs> After you hot glue it, you'll have a nice pocket to store the baby doll, the baby stuff we made in part one. So if you want to, you can take a bead, which I will grab. We're maybe going to spice it up. So let's see. This is just like making it, making something that looks better. We're gonna I'm gonna choose a black bead this time, Ooh. and we're just gonna kind of glue it up here instead, or wherever you feel like it. Yeah, it just makes it look cuter. And now she's gonna move on to the high chair. Yep. So like now, as she showed you, we uh, made that. Now in my other one, it was just like a little box, which works a little bit better for me. But this one, I'll probably make it work. So, just take some cardboard. This is from an OG doll box. And you're going to cut out a rectangle. doesn't have to be perfect. Now, we have tried doing these many, many times. So, that's why you might think, wow, that looks pretty good. Or, wow, that looks pretty bad. And like we said, like I said, this is the crib we just made, but we want to change it into the height chair because we already have two cribs. Okay. In one height chair. Okay, what you're going to do is, I have a little crease on this, so it's like that, and I'm going to put the, this on. She's going to hot glue it together, and we'll be right back to you when it's hot glued. Okay, so I hot glued it up. And um, I put it on backwards, but I thought it would look better. Because then, like, you could slip the baby in. So it's like you won't get a mess everywhere. So now that that's on, you could have done um, that first or do this second. So um, you're going to need a pony bead. It doesn't matter what color. Now, ever seen the little cup thing where it holds the baby's bottle? So we're just going to hot glue one on in the corner, in this so while she's hot gluing, I added a safety pin onto the side because I thought it just added, like, the baby kind of touch to make it look like a baby's thing. And, yes, it does store things. So that's a great thing. So now she's hot gluing. And okay, um, if you don't have a button, which do we have any more? 
we actually have one more button left. Well, actually, we could just use something else for now then. Um, we want to save that button. So, we have a different kind of bead. Doesn't look like one. But it's kind of like a little plate bead to hold, like, the food on. So, we're just going to take that pointy side and glue it down like this. Sorry, I have to hot glue something. It fell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> we'll show you that. Um, actually, we might make a part three since this is getting really long. So, right now, she's just gluing on the plate. We're going to show you how to make them in part three. In part three, we're going to... So, yeah. So, this is ten minutes, and we did not realize it. But... And yeah. there is your high chair. You can make it smaller, bigger. It just depends what size baby you have. You can even make these for um, American Girl dogs. I mean, dolls. <laughs> dolls. And, well, just make it huge and find a doll that could be, like, their child. If you want to know how to make the blanket, the pillow, and the teddy bear, basically the sleepwear, stay tuned for part three. And this. What's up? Bye. Bye. Sorry it's long.